I'm back. Hey hoes, it's another video. Y'all, oh, before y'all get up my ass like a thong, think about think about the church. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Monet, aka Barbecue Sauce on my titties, aka the real raw bitch, aka the gorgeous Monet, and aka your favorite internet cousin. Y'all asked and y'all are receiving. I was gonna explain why I was gone, but look, I feel like it's just unspoken but it's understood that we know why I was gone. But we still standing right now, so that's all that matter. Make sure you drink your water so your piss won't be looking like chicken grease. Without further ado, let's talk some shit. On this episode of Monday in the Morning, we finna be getting into the tea and we finna be talking our shit. Y'all, one thing I love about social media is, uh, it's always gonna be some shit to talk about. Regardless of like the topic, regardless of the day, regardless of how long it's been, bitch, it's always gonna be something to talk about because other than shit steady happening it's just like some of these people on the internet is fucking stupid coming up first we got winnie parker i wanted to get into this so bad but i had to get like all the facts before i actually started talking about it but my opinion still saying basically like a couple weeks ago on tiktok this well i don't know if it's still going on but like i started just seeing it on my for you page like a couple days ago but to my knowledge it just happened like a couple weeks ago but basically, this lady by the name of Winnie Parker on TikTok, she's like a content creator, I guess. Let me not shit on her and say a content creator because she was mainly going for the influencer title. But my thoughts on being an influencer through TikTok... It's not that hard. Walk with me. Walk with me. I said that for a reason. Winnie is known on TikTok for like doing i guess talking about her dating life because i never seen her until this controversy popped up and that's another thing y'all need to stop fucking y'all chances up because one wrong thing you say or just i don't know because i don't want to say don't speak your man but like some of y'all speaking your man from a cool standpoint you could have kept that in the drafts bitch like that's we that that was not obvious to not. from what i researched on her she basically do dating content we're talking about her tender experiences but in this particular time her content was directed more towards a brand deal versus her ideal content basically wendy ended up not wendy i'm sorry girl <laughs> but am i i'm i don't think so wendy ended up getting a deal with macy's and i just want to say I wanted to know what was the hype behind the whole controversy in the video behind what she said. But once I seen the actual Macy's video, I was just kind of like. <laughs> Y'all know my attention span is shorter than my health. So I'm already kind of like, um, okay. It's hard for me to stay engaged, but we, we gonna see. Because I'm thinking she said something weird during the video but that wasn't the case it was the video following up after the fucking macy's video and i caught it before she deleted it i hate when y'all be thinking y'all slick y'all be saying some weird ass shit on tiktok or on any social media platform when y'all have a platform and then when y'all get in the backlash instead of the praise or the agreeing comments that you was thinking you was gonna get you delete the post don't delete the post bitch you're you're messing the tea up i'm trying to read everything and watch everything in chronological order to sum the macy's video up it was boring as fuck i damn near fell asleep in the video wasn't even two minutes now why does hope get on beyonce internet talking about um guys i kind of feel like it's better to have a white audience versus a black one and she went on to say that she feel like it's a better chance at having a, a white audience because I guess white people support the brand deals more and it's more appealing to them. Girl, all brand deal videos are fucking irritating and they're boring as hell. So I didn't understand why she was so upset about the video not doing good when in reality it's like who cares and this is coming from somebody that has had videos not do good i still got paid i don't give a fuck if this video get 500 likes i still got my check it's still cleared and i signed the contract and everything is done so my whole standpoint on her getting mad that it wasn't a lot of traction to the video it was kind of weird because one every content creator that has brand deals you already know the unspoken rule go on your friends only and tell them you know hey i got a brand deal coming up y'all shit don't even do it on the friends only because i have mutuals that are post before they'll be like y'all i'm i'm posting a i'm finna post a brand deal video act normal because it's like the video's not going to do well in 
at all because that's your like it's not your regular content and i wish people would understand that like social media is kind of like a quick fix like people people like quick shit so when it comes to being a content creator to stay relevant you have to constantly post and then when it comes to content creating in general nine times out of ten if your content is something different from what you doing in a brand deal it's like it's not gonna get the same reaction because we don't give a fuck about macy's winning bitch we wanted to see you we don't give a damn about no macy's like y'all that video was boring as hell it was boring as hell and then i want to say this to anybody that want to be like a content creator because people be having the game fucked up reevaluate what you want out of a social media career because i don't give a fuck what nobody say you social media you can make a career out of that we got so many girlies that came up on social media and that have tv shows widely known fashion gurus got their own million multi-millionaire businesses so it's like you can make a career out of social media but the thing is people don't understand i how can i put this bitch i'm gonna just spell it out go where you're appreciated and it's like i checked her page and her baby daddy is white so i wasn't surprised that she felt like she was gonna be more accepted by the white folks because it's like okay and then it's like her hair told on her because like i don't know y'all i be knowing i be knowing exactly what type of me and certain bitches they about a, about a wig so it's like i wasn't surprised when i found out her man was white but at the same time it's just kind of upsetting because she's not the only content creator that be feeling like oh if i'm around a bunch of white people they'll be more accepting to me my content would be better if it was accepted by a bunch of white people. girl no no it's been so many times where i've witnessed somebody whether i was mutuals with them or we was just like i was just a fan of their content it's so many times where i've witnessed people like that get invited to certain brand events and it's like a brand that obviously don't accept black people but you can tell they just did it either basically they version of a cash grab is just forcing all different types of people to fake the diversity in their brands and it's like you be able to tell so i be kind of like uh not even upset i just be disappointed in you hoes because why is you jumping at the first opportunity like why are you jumping at the first opportunity i don't give a fuck if they big brands start doing research on these brands y'all it's so many big brands that be want to work with people but they be so bogus or they don't accept black people or they're homophobic race like these people don't give a fuck about you and it's like i guess the money could be good but our money ain't good money so it's like i'm not moved by a brand wanting to pay me thousands of dollars to promote their shit but they don't cater to black people for real they just use my face because they know i'm gonna bring more customers and before the bitches be like oh my god well it's just a business it's just a, i see what type of bitch you is and it's no correlation you can keep that to yourself because in my personal experience when i first got on tiktok i ain't gonna lie y'all when i hit my first 100k i was like damn okay we in the brands finna start coming out shit pepsi so for where, where's y'all at y'all i was searching high and low for brands i was seeing mutuals that had the same follow account as me like 100k to the 200k range getting invited to like fashion week in new york and shit I'm like, okay, when is it finna be my turn? But then when you learn certain shit about the industry when it comes to content creation, that make you not want to be around none of that. I got to a point where I had to be like, girl, what did you go on to Fashion Week and do? Like, you're not, you know, because I still plan on going to Fashion Week, but it's like, as far as getting invited, these people be getting invited for like, I don't know it's kind of hard to explain because certain content creators you just see them at random events doing side quests and shit like why are you at the bt awards what's what's going on but i'm saying as to say this when it came to big brands that i seen other people working with like say tart uh the makeup brand or just any other big brand i was like damn i want that to happen to me but then i'm like go where you're accepted go where people know your content for real don't be like i always tell people like if you in it for the money then yeah even though i personally wouldn't accept any and every offer no matter how much money it is because it's like nothing feel better than somebody knowing you and your content for real that's why i didn't understand why 
Winnie felt like, oh, I need to be with the white brands. I need to be with, girl, these white brands do not give a fuck about you. And not to say that only black brands is going to accept you, but nine times out of 10, it's like, uh, I don't, I don't get why you think working with white people is gonna bring better opportunities. It's like in your mind, what's better to you? And it's like two brands that I've worked with so far that like the biggest ones to me, it's like they personally have told me like, oh, I've been watching you for a long time. One of them, the representative that reached out to me was from Chicago. They was like, yeah, you remind me so much of home. I like shit like that. I don't like nobody reaching out to me like, hey, TikToker, hello, content creator. We're here to present to you with this deal that I don't talk to me like that. Talk to me like you want to get to know me. Like you should want to know who you're doing business with. Because with Macy's, they drop that hoe quick. They drop that hoe like a bag of dirty laundry, y'all. And, and that's why I say know who you working with. Macy's is one of them people where they like, well, at the same time, a lot of these stores is like that in general. But like Macy's specifically is like the clean cookie cutter, no mistakes. They told her. You getting too much backlash and we don't want to work with you no more. But if you knew who you was working with, none of that would happen. That's why I always tell people, don't be jumping at the first, who that shit be pissing me off. That's, that's why I be telling people, don't jump at the first opportunity you get. Like, weigh out your options. Make sure you feeling benefited from it. Like, if you not, if it's not benefiting you, why the fuck are you working with them? Like, it's, it's not that serious. Okay, coming up next, I want to talk about the trading of places between men and women. I was scrolling on Instagram, and I seen this interview between Glossop and this man. I don't know his name, but I've been seeing him a lot on interviews lately going viral and shit. She basically was on an interview with this dude, and he was asking her, like, do you twerk in the club? And she was like, no, nah, I do a little one-two. But what threw me off was when he asked her what was a little one-two, she was like, oh, it's just like a one-two. I don't really twerk in the club because I'm, I am I be feeling like I'm a nigga at heart and i don't feel like niggas be twerking in the club y'all i'm ready for this epidemic of trading places to be put to a fucking end i don't know about everybody else but i am a lady okay and that's no shade to the girlies they be like oh i'm a nigga at heart i'm a nigga at heart but at the same time it's like it do be shade sometimes because certain girlies they take it too far when they be feeling like a nigga at heart you could feel like a nigga by yourself i am a woman and then on top of that it's like when it comes to the girlies they be feeling like niggas at heart it's just they be wanting to let you know about it every five seconds yeah i'm a real nigga trapped in a girl body it's hard being a real nigga in a girl body you a summer walker type of bitch i'm a little dirt type of bitch girl be fucking for real the girlies that be saying that they niggas at heart they were really trying to make you feel bad about being a girl bitch i have a pocketbook I, I'm a woman and, and it's like it's so weird because it's like why do you want to be a nigga everybody hate men like why would you why do you want to do that to yourself and on top of that it's just like girl you could you could be if you want to be a little boy you could do that but don't be trying to come over here and stank up my my feminine air and I'm not even talking about feminine energy because I feel like bitches learn feminine energy and just ain't shut the fuck up because everything be centered around a man when it comes to these terms soft life soft girl aesthetic clean girl aesthetic what the fuck is a clean girl aesthetic you don't know how to wash your ass what do you mean you just now entering your clean girl era and you're 23 how long have you been going around with an unclean ass i just don't be getting it like i get it but at the same time i don't get it like it's just kind of weird to me and before people be like oh my god you know you just don't get it we grew up around our boys i was the only girl for a long time i was the only girl so i was 14. like aside from my aunties and shit, as far as like young girls in my age group i was the only girl i i get it but i still know how to get my r b on okay like i'm not i'm not finna listen to that bang bang shoot them up shit all day every day on top of that i don't know like i can't get into the new male rappers anyway you won't listen to summer walker or Ari Lennox singing in your ear peacefully, but you will listen to a murder trials on a nice trap beat. You would be making it worse about male rap. All these murders that these men be talking about, these is kids that they be talking about, or teenagers, and they was kids when the crimes took place. I can't get with it no more. Like, I used to be able to nod my head, you know? And sometimes they be getting me sometimes, because the beat be, you know, I like the beat, but 
yeah i i can't mm -mm. especially when it's time to for a certain vibe if we out to like 1 a.m ride down lake shore drive i'm not listening to that just turn on some frank ocean but it's like again if you if you want to be a little boy that's fine be a little boy by yourself though and it's just so crazy because it's like that's really looked at as the norm i don't like that because again if you want to be a little boy you can do that it just be the fact that when people start shaming other people for doing what they like what bring them joy that's when it get weird because why can't all of us just mind our fucking business i'm a firm believer in leave people alone let people live life okay life is too short to be worried about what the fuck other people got going on bitch your life passed you bad worried about what the fuck i'm doing what Winnie used to say? Y'all want to know what I'm doing all the time. I don't give a shit about what you doing all the time. Then the whole like shaming of women that like stuff that is supposed to be liked by a woman. Not saying it can't be liked by a man, but these are things that women are supposed to like. Like it be so many posts shaming bitches for shit that we supposed to like. Like when did the new hatred for flowers come around? I don't know when the hate train started, but bitch pass me up. Cause it be so weird how bitches be like, oh, when did bitches like flowers? You bitches just be wanting niggas to spend money. When? Since when? Flowers is ten dollars, bitch. What are you talking about? You ain't getting ten dollars? Shit, at Jewels they be eight dollars. Just say a nigga ain't gave a fuck about you that much to give you some flowers for eight dollars. I love a good bouquet of flowers. Okay, roses, tulips, sunflower. Bitch, I love a good flower. And why? Because I grew up with a plant mama. That's something else you hoes need to stop doing. Leave bitches alone when they get flowers, cause y'all don't know what type of mama we grew up with. Talking about, oh. This is a new trend of like flowers. No, bitch. I grew up in a house full of plants. Just say you ain't never had no nature in your house. You ain't got to be shaming, bitch, because you don't get flowers. Bitch, buy yourself some flowers and see how good you feel. And that's another thing. You don't even have to get flowers from a man. Bitch, you can buy yourself some flowers. Flowers are pretty. Spice up your house. Your living room is, is empty as fuck. Go get you a vase and go get you some flowers. You ain't got shit but a couch, a Roku TV, and that's it. Add that spice in your life. I want to talk about BBL culture, y'all. Why the fuck I seen Santana on Twitter just, oh, he was just going crazy. I'm tired of men speaking on women. And that goes for the gays, too. It just kind of blows me when it's like people be so accepting to what a gay man is saying because he's gay. And it's like... You could be one of the girls, but you still one of the guys. It's a lot of gay men that are very misogynistic. And they're gay. The video of Santana that went viral on Twitter. He did the little 10 girls in one rapper video. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. But I was, mm, was kind of turned off from it. The host of it brought a girl up, right? And he was like, oh, no, I don't do girls. And he was kind of like, y'all know I don't do girls. So, like, I laughed at it because I'm like, okay, that's funny. Yeah. Why this man had a nerve to say, and you y'all not even bringing no bad hoes up here. She ain't got a BBL or nothing. It was just so weird to me because it's like, why are you going into detail about the stuff that this girl don't have that you feel like would make her attractive? And you're a fucking man. You're a man. I feel like as a man, whether you're gay, straight, gender fluid, bi, whatever, you shouldn't be speaking on what the fuck you think a woman needs to make her look like a bad bitch because one bbl culture is frying the fuck out of y'all why do y'all think a hoe need a bbl for, for to look like a bad bitch i'm gonna be so real with y'all the couple bbls i've seen in my past couple weeks stop getting them stop getting them hoes like legs don't be matching with the bbl then on top of that it's like i can say this i want i want people to bitch don't get on me because i can say this bitch because i'm built the same way you knock need hoes need to stop getting bbls because bitch you cannot unknock them knees and again there's nothing wrong with getting bbls because i definitely have seen some good bbls i have whether it was on plus size women whether it was on skinny women whether it was on mid size women i've seen some really good bbls it was just kind of weird because it's like why do we have to have a bbl like and it's like I know that's what Santana thinks that you need to be a bad bitch because he has a BBL for whatever reason but not everybody want that big ass caboose on the back of us like my ass is already heavy I don't need no BBL and now your booty just scrunched up looking mangy and shit I'm currently thinking about smiley BBL that's why I'm kind of getting like 
PTSD. She's a pretty girl in the face, but I did not know her BBL was like that. Like, you know the song Juicy by Doja Cat? Well, she be like, if you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back. You can see it from the front, so you don't need to see it from the back. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> With that being said, picking it back off of what I said about Santana, that's why I be telling people to take social media breaks. Like, I'm a heavy social media breaker, bitch. Once I start getting delusional about some shit that I'm already secure about, it's time to take a break because you you easily you you obviously influenced by something that you keep seeing on your screen i remember i got my braces taken off back in 2020 for the ones who don't know i had braces very much a bad bitch you know that's why i be smiling so hard now like ugh, i kind of hate when i be getting in trouble with people i be talking to because it's like how you gonna get mad at me for smiling to people's face bitch i've had over a thousand dollars in my mouth i'ma smile till my teeth start falling out my mouth and even when my teeth fall out bitch i'ma still be like Bitch, I don't, I don't give a damn. Life is too short to not smile, bitch. I had braces from my freshman year of high school to my senior year of high school. So basically like four years. My teeth was the shit. Well, my teeth the shit now. But like my teeth was the shit. I don't know if it's because like they was all together with the braces holding them together. Because they all together right now. It's just the fact that when you have braces for so long, it's kind of like, damn, now I got to give them up. Like, <sighs> It's, it's a bit of sweet. So crazy because for the four years that I had the braces, I'm like, damn, I can't wait to get my braces off. Like, I'm gonna get my braces taken off in the uh, way before my senior pictures so I could take my little pictures with my braces off. And people be like, damn, you got your braces off? And I be like, yeah, I got my braces off. And it's, <sighs> but it didn't work like that because one, it was COVID. And then two, my school was ghetto as fuck. So they came like a week before the pictures was even finna get taken. It was like, yeah, we're still doing senior pictures. Well, bitch, I'm not coming. And three, I hated my teeth when I got my braces taken off. Like, it was just horrible. I was not feeling it at all. And I feel like I wasn't feeling it because at the time, that's when the BBL culture and the veneer, uh, the veneer culture got popular. Back in 2020, like, through 2021, and I would say a little bit of 2022, but that's when it stopped, started getting, like, uh, you know, everybody got a bbl now so it's like what well, it's not special no more but back then it was very like saturated with bbl content like come with me to get my bbl uh day in the life of somebody post op come with me to columbia to get my veneer that was very very much popular at that time at the time when i got my brace taken off y'all i was like anxious as hell like even when i was getting them taken off I didn't look at my teeth till I got home and I was so pissed off y'all I was just so upset I'm like oh this I, okay think of Beyonce in the renaissance movie where she was trying to get their ass to listen but she was trying not to go off that's how I felt because I'm like okay bitch we done spent four years with these braces and now our teeth is ugly Say scam of the year. But again, my reason is for not liking my teeth was the fact that my teeth didn't look like Cardi B. I'm like, damn, why my teeth not looking like Cardi? Why my teeth not looking like Lotto? Why my teeth not looking like Ruby Rose? I'm like, damn, why is my teeth not looking like these girls? And bitch, I have braces. Whole time, a lot of these celebrities, they teeth be fake, y'all. Because I knew Cardi got her teeth done. And then I think Lotto got her teeth done. But I'm not sure. Either way, I love their teeth. So I was like irritated. Well, my teeth wasn't look like that. I'm like, oh, okay. We spent all this money, so now we just stuck with these hoes. Afterwards, I started, I don't know if it's because I started, like, actually smiling more and just taking pictures, even when I didn't feel like my teeth was cute, that, like, I don't know if that's what helped me, but, like, after a while, I ended up getting over the fact that my teeth didn't look like the veneer look that i want and now look at me bitch i love my teeth like ugh, i love when somebody is looking at me and they could tell that my teeth is straight and they be like oh my gosh your teeth is so cute your teeth is so pretty and i'll be like you know that's why i always recommend social media breaks like don't be trying to get caught up in the hype because then you're gonna be feeling like everybody you say not a bad bitch because they don't have veneers or they don't have a bbl like I don't be getting it. And that's why I be telling people you need to live in real life and go outside and touch some fucking grass. I'm going to be so rude with y'all. From 
the time BBL culture got popular on social media till now, I have never seen nobody in real life with a BBL. I don't know if it's just because people asses is matching their legs, but I've never seen a BBL in real life. So I don't be getting when people be like, yeah, the world is just changing. It's like now you have to have a BBL to be accepted. I don't have to have shit. You're not finna force me into getting surgery because that's what you feel like would make me fit in with society. Fuck fitting in with society. Half of these hoes is weird anyway. I don't want to be parallel to you hoes. So it's like, yeah, I always take them social media breaks. And BBL just brought me to my next topic. I mentioned Smiley and just got to thinking about baddies. I don't even watch baddies and I just want to say... I'm still gonna talk my shit. I'm not gonna say I don't like baddies. I just don't like the bitches on baddie. E.T.'s weird, wig fat as hell. Natalie a bisexual pimp. Pimping them bitches out in Dubai, making them eat her ass and eat the asses of these millionaires that they going to see. Scotty, scary bitch. How you let Natalie bat the piss out you the last season, but now you just big, big and big. See? Weirdo. Only reason why I say she a weirdo because I genuinely feel bad for this bitch. You know, genuinely feel, I feel bad for her on the season. But as far as her as a person, she's a weirdo because she's a Tory Lanez defender. Y'all already know how I feel about my wife, Megan. I don't feel out with bitches in real life over her. And before people be like, oh, she don't know you in real life. It be the principle of certain situations. When it comes to how you react to a woman, whether the woman is famous, whether it's a regular woman, that's going to make me judge your whole character. For instance, if a woman gets essayed, and your first thing to say is, oh, she's going to ruin him. What if she's not telling the truth? What was she wearing? Why was she doing? If anything you say comes out to be targeting towards the woman who's the victim instead of the person that was causing harm upon her, I'm automatically going to look at you like you're a weird ass bitch. So with the Tory Lane situation, yeah, she supports Tory. That's her friend. She was like, oh, why would I, you know? Why would I want to do that? Why would I stop being friends with him because of everyone else turning their back on him? Bitch, he's an abuser. Like, it's, it's giving, oh, he ain't do it to me, so. Well, bitch, uh, uh, you not exempt. So, yeah. Who else is on that show? Sky. I like Sky. You know? I like Sky. A little bit. I like Sky. Biggie. Big Biggie. Not the little one. I like that bitch. I really do. I love a confident bitch. And I like a bitch that could stand on their own. The only thing that I don't like about Biggie is how she acted last season when it came to Stunner and how she was dick riding Tommy. And I don't like the fact that regardless of this season and the last season, she want an explanation too much. When it come to Rowley, that bitch already showed you she's jealous of you. She's weirded out. You know, um, it's just like a bully. But you still want to know, like, I want to know why we, you know, we were cool at the beginning. We were, girl, fuck that hoe. I don't be getting it. Like, once I put my hands on you, I don't want to talk or be friends. I don't I don't have the desire to rekindle nothing. That's why I was looking at Taseki. Like, why is you, like, why are you hugging E.T.? Like, but I love me some Taseki. I love Taseki, Biggie, who else? Suki. Same like that's it. The rest of them have all done some weird shit. Mariah Lynn and Smiley. It's like, bitch, this beef about the chain is it <laughs> ran stale. Then on top of that, both chains is ugly. Why the fuck is y'all fighting over this? And then it's like, I don't know. Mariah Lynn. Uh, I've learned a lot about her. I was so disappointed when this bitch got on baddies because I was expecting her to be Lil Mariah from Love and Hip Hop. But Shorin is realizing that Mariah Lynn can never fight. She was just fighting other bitches that could not fight. You got somebody bullying you with your chain. Then you got another bitch over here bullying you to go bully the bitch that's bullying you about your chain back. Girl, you did not want that fucking chain that bitch. Watching her fights with Smiley. Watching her fights, period. It's just like... Okay, who else on that show is fucking weird? Oh, how could I miss Magnetic Knees? That bitch really grinds my gears and she rubs my foot the wrong way. She got that BBL and started acting skinny. I don't like that. I used to love Rolly when she first got on baddies. I, I loved how she beat up Natalie. I loved how she beat up Ann, you know, because Rolly, she don't say nothing. You just got to see that bitch coming and you're going to see her, obviously, but it's just like she wasn't with all the talking now she she didn't want to fight biggie again biggie and them they fought three times she said he's telling biggie to run up she said bitch you got the issue you run up 
but she couldn't do shit but mock her that's how you know that's how you know you got a bitch man when she bringing up shit that's irrelevant to the to the argument you mocking me instead of getting your one you're running your mouth when you could have ran up on me and then it's like I don't know like people people don't be trying to believe that people could be jealous of Biggie regardless of what y'all feel Biggie looks like because I know where the who could be jealous of Biggie comments I know where them come from it's because a lot of y'all find like feel like she's unattractive and that's fine because everybody's entitled to their own opinion but the thing is regardless of if you find somebody attractive that does not stop somebody being jealous of them you can tell that roly is heavily jealous of biggie like i don't know if it's because she became a fan favorite and she's a big girl and roly's a big girl because sometimes big girls they do get competitive and it's weird it's like we both big as hell they both go call us two big around the back ass bitches so i don't see why you trying to be against me when we could stun on all these hoes together last but not least we go get into the downfall of hollywood everybody was asking me when this first came out but i be want to tell y'all wait a fucking minute to the besties that be checking up on me when i don't post on some like i ain't seen you post in a long time i miss you i hope you're doing okay i love you but to the ones that be like bitch what a fucking video we need to chill out chill out bestie calm down that's not gonna make me post faster by asking me when it's gonna come sometimes a bitch be going through it okay sometimes a bitch be going through it and i don't be having time to sit in front of a fucking camera but with this topic in particular it was gonna take a long time for me to get all my shit together anyway because this is opening a can of worms that you have to really sort out i just want to say to everybody that's coming out talking about you know things that p diddy has done to them shout out to you because like the downfall of hollywood is gonna go so crazy i've been telling people for a long time i feel like something big is gonna happen with all of these celebrities and all these scandals and i was right for those who know or for those who remember like a couple months ago when i was on live and we was talking about surviving r kelly i specifically said if y'all think surviving r kelly was something y'all finna go crazy when all these other celebrities started crumbling down with his ass i'm really waiting on that surviving diddy surviving chris Stowe, surviving dame dash it's finna go crazy everything happens for a reason because it was a couple people that was like oh my god i lost respect for cassie because she settled for the money instead of settling and taking it to court so he can go to jail if diddy is going to go to jail he has the money to potentially get him out of jail. I don't think people realize how long it takes to build a case or how long a trial takes. With the whole Tory Lanez and Megan situation, people was like, oh, I hope we get, we get to stop hearing about this because this has been going on for years now. Cases take a long time. Why do you think your man's still in jail, bitch? It takes a long time for a case to even go to trial sometimes. So it's like, why would Cassie even go through that trouble to go through a case have to testify against everything that this man done did to her. how would she go on the stand look this man in the face testify and talk about everything that he done did to her and then on top of that allow him to have time to get lawyers and try to spin a narrative on her and how she could have possibly did stuff to him because y'all know that's what abusers do like oh she's accusing me of doing this but did she tell you that during the relationship she did this this and that like they'll talk about a time where the girlfriend slapped the shit out of him but that he didn't talk about all the times that he was beating her up and she done slapped the shit out of him in fear so it's like they i would have personally took the money too because one Bitch, you gonna pay for my pain and suffering. Cause not only can I ball out with TJ Maxx with this settlement money, but I could go get me some therapy. So it's like, I would rather the money. Something else what people are not understanding is more people are coming out. So this man is about to go broke with how many people is finna come out and say something. Cassie's statements made this man cough up a couple million. He finna keep coughing, bitch. He finna cough to his esophagus fall out his damn mouth. Only thing he could probably still make money off of is the music. But still, if you constantly have people coming out about what the fuck you done did to him, you're not finna have that much money left. I'll take the settlements for 300, Alec. That's a powerful man at the moment. So he can still get out of jail. I'm not, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be watching over my shoulder because, again, anybody that could get another celebrity cop blow 
yeah you you are a powerful man and you're capable capable of doing anything but that's another story for another day because i i really want to get into that tea because y'all i done fell down a rabbit hole and i found out some shit so when it started coming to these videos where it's one topic and it's like long yeah i'm gonna I'm a save it i'm gonna save it but that was the end if you liked it i love you love you lots and if you didn't true brick i don't know what to tell you if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified every time i make a post because y'all be talking about oh where's the video where's the video and i've been posted you just don't have my post notifications on i'm on my zoom get on yours other than that i guess to go i'll be out of y'all back like next week or something